Okay, the shutter just closed on our 300 second exposure. Telescope still guarding. The uh, database is uh, acquiring the uh, data that it has retrieved. We're going to wait here and see what else the software um, tells us to do. What is next? Um, instruction will be as of right now our 300 second exposure on M51 is complete the shutter is closed the telescope is still guiding because it's still flashing guiding the activity states that it's still imaging gives you the target it gives you the RA and the declination the azimuth and the altitude the air going to um, hold on for a little bit longer up here there's buttons okay there's an image filed save to G16 F Walsh M51 creating preview image here comes the created preview image that I just took from the Nerpio Spain Grass 16 telescope I hope it's good I hope I hope this works out this is easy um, now of course it, it, it does cost money. This this service is not a free service. Parking the telescope, turning tracking off for safety, auto guider stopped, parking telescope, it's slewing. Shutter still closed, the guider is idle. It's parking the telescope. The telescope is offline right now. So however long that took, we're gonna find out how many how many points it took. Preview last image. Let's click. Oh, oh that's kind of interesting. See, it's not as close as I thought, but it is very interesting. What a great little image. I don't know how much you can see as I pull in. I love it. You, I can see the little whirlpool. Now, this is, um, and I can see the supernova. I can see the supernova right there. You can probably see it right there, too. There's a little supernova at 8 o'clock when it's turned that way. That's really cool. Okay, uh, um, I'm impressed. And um, I'm going to have to check out other ways to do this because there's more ways to do this. There's ways to include color. But at this moment, for this first picture, I had to find out how many points it cost me. I'm a happy camper. That was a great first shot. So, M51, I see the supernova. I have a wide view. I have a wild, wide field of view. And I have to... Um, you're going you're gonna to learn and you're going to watch with me how we get used to the different telescopes, the different uh, field of views, focal points, and all that uh, on our way to taking any taking a picture of any object we want in space anything our my subscribers want to take a picture of you're gonna have an opportunity to see own uh, have a have a piece of so that we can find out for sure this is a great first image I'm very happy and I'm gonna to talk to you later bye